Hello. Today's merchandising presentation is for Healthy Body. The vendor's name is Back Embrace. From time to time, I've been asked to find another posture trainer. Back Embrace makes a posture trainer right here in the USA. The posture trainer is very soft and comfortable to wear. Do you see how much straighter I'm sitting up? That's because I'm wearing the back embrace under my shirt. I've had it on for a couple of hours just to see how comfortable it is. It wraps around and closes in the front. It's very easy to put on and it is packaged wrapped around a cardboard like this. This right here is the manual for the back embrace. It's on a flat cardboard back embrace. This is what it looks like on the back. This will be covered in a clear bag. Back Embrace comes in three sizes and it sells for $59.99 or $69.99 depending on the sizes and it ships out of Franklin, Tennessee. And Ernest will tell us more. Ernest? Hi everybody. So we're here with the Back Embrace Posture Trainer. I really like the term posture trainer. It's really important with any products like this that we remember that this cannot replace what your postural muscles are supposed to do. You actually can end up with atrophy over time and making your posture worse. So Patty said she's been wearing it for a couple hours. I hope she doesn't do that more than a couple hours per day because she could be on the path of going too long. What we'd like to see you doing is doing this like you would any kind of fitness routine. Do it for 20 or 30 minutes. Do it a couple times a day. Do it when you know you're likely to be fatigued or if you're gonna be doing something hands intensive posture in front of you so that while exercise or activities in front of you so that while you're doing it, you've got this posture trainer that's forcing you to do it in its best posture. So looking from my profile, if I'm leaning forward to type and I'm, I'm really intense, the posture trainer should help cue me with some biofeedback to get my shoulders back, keep my spine aligned, ear over my shoulders as I'm working. So what we thought we'd do before I put it on to demonstrate a little more, it comes as you saw from Patty wrapped on that cardboard, but putting it on turns out for us anyway, was a little trickier than it just seems at the first. So it does take a little practice. And we thought we'd show you real time. This is gonna be like the fourth time I've done this so if I fumble through it, I'm doing it to give you kind of a real feel for what you or your customer, more importantly, might feel. I think that if they're frustrated with how it works, they're not going to use it. So we want to make this easy. So you'll see we've got two ends, one Velcro. Um, I don't know how you differentiate between which is the sticky side and which is the grip side. But anyway, you got the part that grabs and the part that's supposed to be grabbed. I just made those um, terms up for Velcro. And then you'll see there are three slots inside of the fabric and these slots are where we're gonna draw the ends through to create the shape that goes around us. So in the manual, they list them as A, B, and C. So I'm gonna stick the grab side of my Velcro. I, I folded it in half, as you can see here. I fold it in half so it doesn't grip as I'm doing this. I'm going to thread this through this section here. And when you get yours, it's actually labeled. Also, their manual and their YouTube site is very good for those that want to refer it or use it in your um, sales floor follow-up. This is, it's, it's actually a really good resource. Then I'm going to take this uh, side that does the gripping or the side that's the grab side latches onto, and you'll see from the top, I'm going to take it through two slots. So there's one, here's the second. Slide it through. And what I'm looking at, what I want to see, if you can see this on the camera, is I want to see an entire white side. The white is what goes against my body. Once it's on, you'll see black. So before I put it on, I'm just going to go ahead and attach the ends so that nothing slides out in the process. And then I can put it on much like I might put on a vest or a jacket. So the black is what you'll see once it's on. The white is the, what the customer looks at. So. I'm going to, I can slide one arm in this way. I can do my arms, you know, how I used to do when you were a little child and you take and you swing it around over your shoulders. I can do that way as well. So arms all the way through the holes. I'll reach to the back. Let me come around here to the camera so you can see it better. 
So I'm going to reach to the back, grab the Velcro, and I'm going to pull down. You'll notice I want to get it down so it's not high up on my shoulder blades, and then bring it around, attach it in the front. So once I have it on, I can adjust, make sure I get a good fit, and I can make sure to put it where I want it. So I don't want it tight in the axillary right here where my pecs and shoulders meet, real tight where it's chafing my uh, this the axilla of the arm. But instead, I'm going to bring it out to the edges of my shoulder. You'll notice there's a secondary strap that I could also use to get to the outside to make sure that I'm using the whole postural structure here. So notice here helps to bring my shoulders back. Those of you who remember the Gokhale method when we uh, spoke with her, she showed us about rotating the shoulder forward, up, and back, getting it back into its posture. This posture trainer is helping me to do just that. So I've got that torso gentle lift of the sternum here, good lordosis, and I've got my shoulders in that neutral alignment. You can see that there. So this is the back embrace, and we're going to give it back to Patty where she's going to give us our summary.